Hey guys, it's Cece. Welcome back to my channel. First and foremost, I'm gonna just apologize if my voice sounds very, very nasally. I am getting over a cold. Like, I've had this cold since last Thursday. So a little bit over a week now, I've been taking medication and everything for it, but I'm still very much congested. But I do feel much better than I felt last week, which is a plus because last week I last week I felt absolutely horrible. Um, today is probably the first day that I've actually worn makeup like all week long because I have just been feeling so so bad, but. I am starting to feel back to my old chipper self, so I wanted to come and bring you this video. I was planning on doing it last week, but like I said, I really haven't been feeling that well. It is my SCC video. This is a video that I've been wanting to put out for a while now, but since I've gotten like a bunch of new subscribers, I thought that this would be a good time to put it out just to give you guys a chance to get to know me beyond just like, you know, the makeup, the tutorials and the hauls and stuff like that. So I posted on all of my social media, Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. I asked all of you guys what questions you had for me. It didn't have to be makeup related, but just any questions that you wanted me to answer. And I did get a good amount of feedback, so I decided to go ahead and film this video for you guys. So before I get into the questions, if you are new to my channel, welcome. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video and do me a quick favor and hit that red subscribe button so that you do not miss any more uploads from me and you're part of the CC family here on YouTube. So... I have my phone here because I took screenshots of everybody's questions, so I'm just going to be pulling them up randomly and answering them. So, the first question that I have, do you plan on having children anytime soon or at all? Okay, so my husband and I have been married for three years, and we've been together for four, so... Definitely planning on having children. I feel like this would be a really good time for us to start working on a family because we've been together for four years. We've been married for three. So basically, um, you know, we're pretty much stable in our careers. We have a house now. We started out with an apartment. Um, we've been in our house now for maybe like two years. And since it just seems like a really good time because we're stable in all of the other areas of our lives. So I feel like this would be a really good time for us to just work on a family and having kids. I work with kids for a living. If you guys don't know, I am a therapist full time and I do freelance makeup on the side. And um, I love kids. I've always I haven't always wanted kids though like growing up I was the only child and I was super spoiled and I hated what my cousins would come around and take the attention from me <laughs> but now I think that um we're definitely ready for kids and we would definitely want kids I think two maybe three taps I can't see us having more than three kids running around but two maybe three would be really good um to me I feel like we're going to have a boy first. I just feel that way. Um, I mean, it really doesn't matter. As long as my children are healthy and happy, I don't care if they're boys or girls. But I just feel like we're going to have a boy first. So, yeah, definitely looking forward to having kids. The next question. What made you want to start learning about makeup? Okay, so... I have been doing makeup on myself for about seven years now, but I just recently started really getting serious about makeup when I started YouTube, which was about, which was about, I'm going to say maybe, I've been on YouTube maybe about three years, I want to say. Cause, yeah, because around the time Maurice and I got married, I started my channel. So I would say maybe about two going on three years, um, I've just been getting like serious about it. And honestly, um, 
a lot of people would compliment me on my makeup and I would always get asked the same questions all over again. Um, uh, definitely about like brows, how do you blend your eyeshadow, which eye palettes do you recommend? So I was like, you know what? I think that I'm just gonna create a channel so that way, you know, when people ask like, you know, how do you get started with makeup? I wanna know about this, I wanna know about that. I can direct them to my YouTube and they could get their questions answered there so um it started off just as a positive constructive hobby um I definitely didn't see myself doing makeup professionally but when I started posting different pictures of my makeup and you know tutorials and stuff like that I just got a lot of different people that were like oh I really love how you do your eyeshadow your makeup always looks nice can you help me with my makeup can you do my makeup um I have an event coming up and I would love for you to do my makeup so from from there oh from I would say from January of this year to now it's really turned into a brand into just something that I actually do um as a side job basically um so yeah um I guess just what got me into it is just definitely like watching other girls on YouTube and seeing them and just really being interested and wanting to try um what they do so that's basically what got me into makeup next question is kind of a repeat question what made you fall in love with makeup um like i said you know um watching definitely like um reviews on youtube tutorials because i was an avid youtube watcher before i decided to start my channel and then instagram i get a lot of inspiration from instagram as well and then once i learned to start applying makeup on myself i just became obsessed with it and it was just a name deal from there and the next question is what's one of your biggest goals in life okay so for me right now, and this is going to sound really, really bad, but honestly, I went to school, I have a master's and a bachelor's in psychology, and most people would think that that would be my passion, but to be honest, I feel like I enjoy doing therapy, but I don't feel like that's my passion. I feel like my passion is truly makeup artistry, so one of my biggest goals in life would be to take my passion for makeup and turn it into something that I can do full time. I don't know when that would happen, but I just really would like to get to a place where I can just come off of my job as a therapist and just do nothing but makeup, freelancing, and work my motives business. Like that is pretty much the full time goal. Since I've been a distributor with motives, I've really, really been enjoying it because you get a lot of good support from other professionals in the field and you get a chance to like network with other makeup artists and other entrepreneurs. And it's just really got me thinking about like ways that I can just expand my brand and take this from just something that I do part time to something that I can definitely do full time that will continue to bring in income because I don't know about you guys, but like... For me, wanting to be a mom um, one day, wanting a family and everything, like, it really kind of irritates me that I can't spend as much time with my family as I would want to. You know what I'm saying? Like, for me, when I have kids, you know, I want to be there. I want to be able to do things with them at school, eat lunch with them, chaperone the field trips. And when you work at a nine to five full time job, you literally have to ask your supervisor if you can be sick. You have to ask your supervisor if you can take time off of work. And ain't nobody got time for that. Like, I want to make sure that I am completely there for my kids and that I can do things with them. So being able to take my passion for makeup and, you know, make it into something that I can do full time and then show other people who have the same passion for makeup, you know, how they can start their motives business and they can grow their motives business and just building a team of other people who have the same interests as I do, that is definitely the ultimate goal. So are interested 
in getting more information about motives or becoming a distributor, then, you know, just um, leave me a comment below and I can definitely get that information to you guys. Okay, the next question I have is, if you could redo one thing or move, if you could, okay, wait. The next question I have is, if you could go back in time and redo one thing or move that you made, what would it be? And you can't say I wouldn't change a thing, lol. Okay, so if I could go back in time and change anything, I would, I would probably have enjoyed my teenage years and my high school years a lot more because now that I'm 31, you know, I'm a wife and, you know, adulting is so overrated and, you know, I feel like in my teenage years, I was just in such a rush to just go off to college and I just wanted to be on my own and do my own thing and just be out of my mom's house. Like, that was just my focus. Like, I can't wait until I turn 18 because I can move out. I can get my own place. I can do what I want to do. But now looking back on it, like, having your own place and paying bills and stuff is so overrated. Like, I honestly miss the time where my mom basically bought everything that I needed for me, took care of me, and I didn't have to pay bills. So I would say, like, definitely enjoying my teenage and my college years because that's just a time of your life that you never really get back. So I wish that I would have really taken the time to just enjoy those years. Okay, next question is, do you prefer matte lipstick or lip gloss? Okay, so you guys know my obsession with matte lippies is all the way real. And um, I just prefer, like, as you can see today, I'm wearing a glossy lip. But I actually do like matte lipstick over lip gloss. Because I just feel like a gloss is supposed to just kind of soften your, um, your lip. And, you know, just make it a little bit more, like, shiny and everything. I never really understood the purpose of a matte lip gloss. Because I feel like if you're going to wear a lip gloss, it needs to be shiny. You know what I'm saying? So, I would definitely go for a matte lipstick over a matte lip gloss. The next question that I have is another question um, that's kind of a repeat question. Do you want to eventually become a makeup artist? Which I pretty much answered that already. So yeah, you guys know how I feel about My that. Phone decided to die on me. <laughs> so I ended up having to write down the rest of the questions so that I can go ahead and answer them while my phone is charging. Okay, so just a couple more questions. So the next question is favorite makeup brand? Okay, so pre-motives, I would have said probably Too Faced Cosmetics because I absolutely love Too Faced product. Yeah, I probably just would have said Too Faced because that used to be my favorite makeup brand. And I'm not saying this because I'm a distributor for motives. Like, honestly, what got me into wanting to be a distributor for motives is I made some purchases with them and I fell in love with every single product that they have. And now that I am a distributor for motives, every single product that I have tried, I have loved. And that is very, very rare for me to speak so highly of a makeup up brand because I mean come on I'm a I'm a reviewer I'm a youtuber so anything that I get sent to review or I purchase and I decided to do a review on I'm always going to have something to say or there's always going to be some downside but since I've been trying out Moto's products I really have not found anything bad that I can say about the products so yeah definitely motives Favorite type of makeup, um, so this would be like type of makeup, like highlighters, blushes, foundation. Um, I would say right now, and this is probably going to surprise you guys, it used to be highlight. Like, as you can see, I'm still all about that glow life, honey. But lately, I've really been getting into lashes. Um, so... I don't know like it's crazy I don't know if it's because a lot of my clients have been requesting lashes so I've been like going out and getting lashes for them but honestly like when I go to Ulta and stuff now like or I'm just looking online I just find myself looking at lashes like I'm wearing lashes today 
and these right here are everything okay i um these are our dell lashes they're the flared wispies i want to say they're called i'm absolutely obsessed with these but yeah um, my favorite type of makeup product, I guess, would be, I'm into lashes, but if it's an actual makeup makeup product, I would say now I'm probably more into lipstick than anything. Like, my lipstick collection is, it's a little insane right now. <laughs> and I'm actually in the process of getting ready to do another haul, and I'm going to be hauling a lot of lipstick. So, be on the lookout for that. Next question, favorite song that's out right now? So if you guys know me outside of YouTube, you know like I am the biggest Drake fan there is like anywhere ever. I absolutely love me some Drake and I love me some G DJ Khaled. So I would say my favorite song that's out right now is DJ Khaled and Drake for free like every time that song comes on and if you follow me on if you follow me on snapchat i'm sure you've seen this but like literally every time a drake song comes on i go in but it's just something about that song in particular i don't know what it is but i don't know if it's the beat or just hearing dj kayla like and another one and another one hey i just love that song okay last question what did you used to wear that you thought was cool, but now realize it isn't? So I could answer this question a lot of different ways. This could be like fashion stuff, hair, makeup. Um, so since it's just a kind of general question, I think I'm going to do one from like each category. So as far as things that I used to wear fashion wise that I was really into, but now I'm like, what was I thinking about? Um... I'm going to say gachos. Um, high school and college, I was so into gachos, the little flared out little capri looking pants. And now, I mean, you can still find them some places, but they're kind of like phasing out. And I look back on those pictures from college like, oh my God, what was I thinking wearing those? So fashion wise, definitely gachos. Hair wise, ooh. I never really did anything crazy with my hair, but growing up, like, early 20s, I want to say I was really into, like, doobie wraps or, um, that's what we call them, where you basically get your hair, just, you get the rollers all over your head, you sit under the dryer, you wrap it, and it comes out just really, like, curly and stuff. I don't know, like, now when I look back on those pictures, it's like, girl, anybody got time to be sitting under the dryer for no two, three hours just to get some curls that are going to end up falling out in a week anyway. So, definitely that for the hair. As far as makeup goes, oh my god, I would say using shimmery eyeshadow as transition or crease colors like back then when I first first got into makeup Mary Kay was the first brand that I ever tried and one of my mom's friends was actually a Mary Kay consultant and she lived right down the street from us so whenever I would get paid I would go and I would you know like buy foundation or I would buy eyeshadow and I remember my first palette that I ever got had like all of these like crazy blue colors it was like navy blue ice blue like all these shades of blue and silver and I would take that silver shade and put it on my lid then I would take this like powder blue eyeshadow that was shimmer and I would put it all up in here and you cannot tell me back then that I was not B, okay? That I was not cute. And I look back on those pictures now and I'm like, oh my God, what was I thinking about <laughs> with all of that blue eyeshadow? Like, ew, I'm so glad that that phase of my life is over. So yeah, you guys, um, those are all of the questions that I have for you guys. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and you got to learn something about me that you didn't know. If you are not subscribed to my channel, definitely go ahead and hit that subscribe button and leave me a comment below and let me know what types of videos that you would like to see in the future from me. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye guys.